Welcome to gray on what? We have here a set of rectangles, green, yellow, orange, and blue. The green has an area of 20 square units, and the yellow has an area of 12 square units, while the orange has an area of 9 square units, and a blue rectangle, which has an area of 24 square units, and the combined height of this yellow and the green is 5, while the combined height for the 24 square unit and the 9 square unit is an unknown value x and we are to find the length of x okay so first thing that we have to do is we need to notice that and we focus on this yellow and green rectangles so we notice that they have the same length this length so let us label this as L1. Okay, so L1 is actually the same for both. So L1 is equal to area for the yellow divided by, let us call this unknown as M, this length. So 12 over M is actually equal to the length. So area divided by the width m is equal to the length 1. So it is equal to also 20. The area for the green has the same length as the yellow. But we need to divide this by 5 minus m. Since the total is 5, so the other distance should be 5 minus m. So this is 5 minus m. So we need to cross multiply this. So 12 times 5 minus m is equal to 20m. Okay, so next is we multiply this and this. So we have 60 minus 12m is equal to 20m. So if we put this to the right hand side we have 32 m is equal to 60 and if we divide this both sides by 32 cancel this so divide this by 4 then we have 8 so we have 15 on the numerator so m is equal to 15 over 8 Okay, so next is we focus on this blue and the orange rectangle. So let us call their common length to be L2. And this distance, we actually already got this. This is 15 over 8. And this distance should be x minus 15 over 8. Okay, so next thing is we need to notice that L2, the common length is equal to the area of any of these two rectangles, for the first instance is 24, divided by the width, which is x minus 15 over 8, equal to 9, which is the area all over 15 over 8 okay so we simplify the left hand side we disregard this and this becomes 24 all over 8 so 8x minus 15 and that is equal to 9 all over 15 but this h should go up because we need to multiply this invert it and multiply it so we have this 8 so this should also be here this 8 so we cancel that and we put it on the numerator okay so next thing is we cancel this 8 
So, mangin, for the right hand side, we divide by 3. Numerator and the denominator. So, we have 3 over 5. Okay. So, remaining is, if we cross multiple, we have 24 times 5 is equal to 3 times 8, 24x minus 45. Okay, so simplifying, we have 24 times 5 is 120. Then is equal to 24x minus 45. So we have here to put this. So 100, so 24x is equal to 120 plus 45. And that will be 165 is equal to 24x. Okay, so we divide both sides by 24. So we cancel this. And 165 is divisible by 3. So we have 55. And 24 is divisible by 3 also. And we have 8. So we have the value of x is equal to 55 over 8 units and that is our answer so thank you for watching until the end of the video please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this thank you bye